a scare attraction as good as Tully's? You're watching Bright Comparisons and today we're here at Extreme Scream in Derby, uh, Twin Lakes Park I believe it's called. So we were here about four years ago I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. And we really like the event, um, it can actually rival Tully's Farm, um, it's probably one of the best scare events in the UK. So four years since we were here and we decided to arrive early to beat the queue, um, I don't think we did. That's 15 minutes early as well guys, Jesus. <laughs> It looks very different from last time we were here, doesn't it? Yes. So we've got a card here, guys. It looks like we've got seven mazes. So we've got Excalibur here, guys, a uh, star flyer. Obviously, me and Jacob did the second tallest Orlando flyer the other day, didn't we? So it would kind of be a good tester. Um, I might actually try and get on it to see if the phobia's gone, but I don't know, that one looks dodgy. <laughs> so we've got Pie Factory here, guys. This one was here last time we were here, wasn't it? Um, I think it's sort of themed to like pigs, obviously. Uh, eating humans and putting them in pies kind of thing wasn't it it was yeah. really good um so as i say guys it has been four years since we were here so i don't actually have a clue which mazes are new um all i can tell you is what was here four years ago <laughs> so pie factory we're going to start with it because we've done it before and there's not really a queue mm. oh jacob's saying it's actually um three years since we last came correcting me there <laughs> oh spooky queue line <laughs> What did you think of the first maze? Oh, that was great. So as I say, guys, we did do that one before. They've changed it around inside. Um, I can remember why we wanted to come back. It is very good, isn't it? Um, the mazes are very long as well, and they're extremely well themed. Um, maybe need a little bit more jump scares, but I would say that single-handedly destroyed every single maze at Halloween Horror Nights, would you reckon? Yeah. Um, absolutely brilliant, guys. I can't wait to get into another one. They're so long here. This is cool. This is awesome. <laughs> Okay, so this okay, this is still the village, so they've still got this one. This one, I think we ended it with this one last time, didn't we? Yeah. Another very long one from what I recall. Mazes are just absolutely brilliant, aren't they, Jacob? They're so long. I've never done mazes this long. No, this is it. It's crazy. It really is crazy. I'm not sure where we're heading now. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's just so far. Good so far. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. That's two out of seven, and um, I'm already amazed. It's one of the best events we've done so far. And we've done quite a few this year, haven't we? Yeah. Sir Cursed Entrance. Yeah, where's he this one? Because Sky loves clowns. No, I don't. <laughs> right. Last time we came, I think this was a little free attraction that you could just walk through, but they seem to be signing the tickets this year. Oh my god, what are these cattle pens? What do you think of the circus there? Yeah, it was good. Any, any criticisms? I think it's the weakest one so far, but it was still great. It was still really scary. So yeah, he was, he was just saying, guys, the, the fact that that was the weakest one so far says everything is what you were just saying, yeah. wasn't it? Because that was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so we got over here, we got Open Acres. I think this one might be new. Um, last time it was like a, uh, it was a crop field or something, wasn't there, I think, yeah. down here. I'm not sure if it's got a new name now. Are you saying the circus was the scariest one so far? Scariest clown one I've done. Yeah, like, scariest clown one you've done. <laughs> oh, I think we picked the wrong one here. This one's got quite a queue. Another really good maze, guys. That one was so yeah. long, wasn't it? I think something's happening over here in the um, the big top. Let's go and look quick. So we gone for salt and chili chicken because we had the shortest queue. This cost me twelve fifty. Chicken and uh, chips with sweet and sour sauce, but it looks a bit. You got some curry, cherry curry chips there. Any good? Smell good. <laughs> this guy gone over here. Hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> okay, guys, I will tell you what. That is the best thing we have eaten since we've been back from America. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> My mouth's on fire. Mouth's on fire. Yeah, we need to find a drink. We didn't realise it was going to be quite spicy. I've ever had. That's the best curry sauce you've ever had. <laughs> oh, there you go. Extreme Scream's done awesome with that stand there. They need to bring that to all the big events. Yeah. <laughs> we got some drinks. <laughs> Thirty pound for a hoodie, not too bad actually. Okay, heading over to Ashal Penitentiary now. Prison maze. We like a good prison maze, don't we? You were saying you can remember this one. You didn't like it before. Do you remember why? Not sure. Oh, I guess we'll find out in a minute. 
bit of dragon there. Oh, that looks quite horrible, actually. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Another good maze there, guys. Can you remember what you didn't like about that maze? No. No, fair enough. No, that was really good, guys. I say, um, the last time we came here was before we even created bright comparisons, so... Yeah. Very good. Ah, this maze here, guys, they've changed it. It used to be called Voodoo, and this was one where you put the bag over. Ah, it looks like it's still bags overhead. Craig's favourite. <laughs> So many great props here, it's mad. The use of props is insane here, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think of that last maze? That was pretty good, to be honest. Jacob was saying that that was the bag over the head one there. Jacob was saying it was better than Tully's. Oh, what's this? There was touching. Oh, it's a little food area. It was touching in that way, yeah. yeah and there was a lot. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of that here. I was going to say, guys, the, the disclaimer before you actually go into the mazes is... Um, yeah, they can touch you. Yeah, this is it. The actors can touch you, you can't touch them. It's not the actors may touch you, it's they're going to touch you, which is, which is really good, isn't it? Yeah. So for anyone who follows the channel, um, we, we just got a little bit of funny news from one of the Facebook posts. Um, so we've been doing the Halloween events the past couple of days. We've done Journey to Hell and obviously we're Extreme Scream today. And obviously Hex opened on Friday at Orson Towers. Um, and, you know, they've had Vacoma in. They've been working on it to make it more reliable, haven't they? Yeah. And we've just heard that it's broken down already. <laughs> Hyperion's broken, yeah. Oh, Hyperion's always breaking, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, guys, so we're ending it with the last maze now. And apparently this is the new one. I'm not sure how true that is because we haven't been here for a while. But... Oh, it says online, does it? Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is um, Bloodlust, new for 2024. <laughs> We're just waiting for Sky, we lost Sky, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, guys, that maze is fantastic. That um, is That is what Deadbeat at uh, Fort Park should have been. Yeah. Come on, they've done that so much better. It's like a, um, so it's like a German a German kebab shop and you have to say a special code to get to the club. And oh my God, it's yeah. really good, isn't it? That is insane. It's so long here, the maze is. Well, she's still not come out, I'm really confused. <laughs> We found Sky. she actually got out before me and Jacob did, so we were waiting for nothing. <laughs> that was insane. That, that, was a, that was a very good maze. I'm not sure if that was my favourite. Um, it's too hard to decide here, isn't it? was really good this time. You like Pie Factory? I think that's my favourite. You though. think that's your favourite? Yeah. I think I might agree, actually. Um, it was really, I say, uh, what I said, you did hear earlier, I say, that was what Deadbeat at Fort Park should have been. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but, um, uh, no, guys, this, this, is, this is great. I say, um, we've done about seven Halloween events now this year, and I think this has probably got the best mazes, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, we'll get to that in the end, guys. For now, I've got to try and uh, face the fears, and uh, oh, God, here we go. Hopefully, the Orlando Starflyer helps. I might not be as scared of him now. Oh, what we got here? <laughs> I'm more scared of that. <laughs> okay, so the Orlando Starflyer has definitely helped with my fear. Um, but what I didn't know is they were loading those ones solo. And I had to sit on the outside and it didn't actually have a safety seatbelt on it, which is a bit oh, scary. That was cold though. That was very, very cold. Um, Freezing. Oh yeah, there was a lot of people listening as well, so I couldn't scream too much on that one. I think Sky heard me at the bottom. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. What did you think of Extreme Scream? It was really good. I love this part. Anything else to add? The, the mazes are awesome with the smell pods and they the actors and the straight lights. And exactly that, guys. It is absolutely brilliant. Um, I say, as I said earlier, we've done about seven Halloween events now this year, and this park definitely has the best mazes. I'm not sure if it's the best event overall, but it definitely has the best mazes, isn't yeah. it? And that's a very, very important part of Halloween events. Um, absolutely amazing use of props. Obviously, the actors touch you. The actors put a lot of enthusiasm in. The smell pods, as Jacob said, were absolutely amazing. And I'm not really too sure. Um, uh, if, I, if I was being fussy, the only thing I'd change is when we came three years ago, the clown maze was actually, um, it wasn't stamped. So you could just constantly run through it. And I think that was a little bit fun because it was like a scare zone, wasn't it? So when you finished all the mazes, you've got a little bit of something to do. You've also, you know, you can take like two people or you can just sort of run through it, which was a little bit fun. So I think they should bring that back. And um, when it comes to comparing this event to Tully's, the, the mazes here are a lot better than Tully's, but Tully's as a whole just has a better vibe, doesn't it? Um, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe they, they kind of need like a haunted hayride or something here. Obviously, you, they can't copy the haunted hayride, but they need to make their own sort of little ride Friday system. Scare zones. What, sorry? Friday Night's Wins with Scare Zones. What, Fort Park? Yeah. <laughs> Fort Park, yeah. Um, no, no, that dead that dead beat maze, um, the one here, the new one here this year, definitely Smell is like what that should have been. 
smell like kebabs. At the beginning. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is Extreme Extreme. Um, definitely the best mazes we've had so far. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget, hitting that subscribe button really, really helps us out. And I'll see you next time. So just walking on the way out, guys, they ask you what your favourite maze is. So they must tally it all up and obviously get rid of the weakest maze every year. Fantastic. If you enjoyed the video guys hitting that subscribe button really does help us out and don't worry it's not the end there's more videos here